What you're looking at here are the Sennheiser PXC 550-2 over-ear Bluetooth headphones, and they're really made by Sennheiser, essentially to be travel headphones. They're great for if you're flying somewhere, you're just on public transit, uh, really anywhere you're going because they have active noise cancellation. They're very light, very comfortable, and they have a pretty nice case that protects them when you have to throw them in your bag if you're, again, traveling or somewhere on the go. So there's a lot to talk about in this video. I'll dive into a microphone test, talk about the advanced controls. They have touchpad controls on here. I'll talk about the sound quality, the active noise cancellation, the comfort, the battery life. We'll test all of that out in this video. So there's definitely a lot to talk about with these headphones. But first of all, guys, I want to say welcome back to the channel. This is being filmed in quarantine. So hopefully if you are watching this right now, you're doing well, you're safe, you're healthy, and you guys are somehow managing with all the chaos out there. And if you're watching this in the future, hopefully everything recovered. And hopefully you guys can just remember the time when we were all watching YouTube videos and calling each other on Zoom. So anyway, guys, jumping into this video, the PXC 552s here are a pair of headphones that came out a couple months ago. Sennheiser released them in 2019, and I've been using them for a little while now. I really like using them, and I realized I haven't made a video about them, but I think a lot of people out there might be wondering what these are like. So starting off with a physical tour of them, I wanna start off on the right ear cup. That's where most of the magic happens here and then we'll talk about everything else on here. So the right side, we have three microphones, and I'll test those out in a minute. You'll see that when I turn the cups inward, it turns them off, and when I open it back up, it turns them back on. So the headphones can easily be turned on or off. There's no button that you have to remember to do. I also have an auto-play, auto-pause feature, which I always love to see in over-ear headphones like this. So it's really impressive. You just take them off your head, and it pauses automatically. Now, on the right ear cup, then, we also have on the bottom, we have our little jack right there for the included headphone cable. So if you want to plug this into a laptop or a phone that has a, a headphone jack, if you still have one of those phones, which would be cool if you did, uh, then you can use that right there. Now one thing to note is these act a little bit differently if the battery is alive or dead when you're plugged in by a wire. So if the battery is dead, they act just like regular non-Bluetooth headphones. They're going to play whatever volume you put into them. And if the battery is not dead, they actually have their own volume controls on board as well. So they act more like Bluetooth headphones then, and then the connection is just the wire. So if you're playing music on your laptop and you're thinking like, what, what's going on? My volume's cranked and it's so quiet, it's probably because you have the volume on the, ear, on the headphones turned down a little bit. They also have active noise cancellation on the switch on the right side. There are different types of active noise cancellation on here, so you can turn it right now, it's on off. If we flip the switch, all the way over, it goes to level two, which is just max active noise cancellation. And if we go to level one, we have two options within the app that I'll show you later on. One of them is the wind reduction mode, which if it's windy, it's gonna be kind of, you know, active noise cancellation. If you have wind, it just starts getting really weird and it's hard to hear things. Then next to that, we have a button that is going to be your Alexa button or your summon whatever voice assistant button. By default, the Alexa is on in the app. Then we have a micro, I hate to say it guys, I'm sorry, micro USB port right here. And I know some people don't mind this, a lot of people don't mind this actually, but some people do. Uh, as myself, somebody who has like a lot of different headphones and earbuds and phones and like all this stuff I'm testing, I try to keep only like a couple USB-C cables out and then, you know, whenever I have something like this, I have to go and dig out an old micro USB cable. And I just, I do wish that they used a USB type C on this. The technology has been around for a while now. I'm not sure exactly why they used micro USB, but something that is nice about this actually, getting back to the positives here, is the micro USB can be used actually as your cable for playing audio. So one thing I noticed is if I'm on a, my laptop and I'm trying to make like a, a Zoom call, Skype call, whatever, the microphone doesn't necessarily work by way of the auxiliary cable, the aux cable, and instead, if I plug in the micro USB to the USB port right there, the microphone on the headphones does work. So that's actually nice that it works then. Strange that I wasn't able to get it to work when uh, I was just using the regular aux cable. Obviously, if I connect by Bluetooth, it works then. Um, but just like a weird little quirk to be aware of. Then the adjustability of these, uh, they actually get fairly large. They get way larger than I could possibly need them. Um, and then they also get significantly smaller. I use somewhere in the middle, uh, so I think these are very comfortable. The pressure on your ears is, is really perfect. So wearing these, I can wear them for several hours without any problems. It never really is the discomfort that makes me want to take them off. Instead, uh, the only reason I'd want to take these off after a long period of time is because my ears start to get a little hot, which is pretty standard from a pair of headphones uh, that's going to make a full seal around your ears like that. 
Then you'll also notice right there that they do have a pretty good range of motion with turning the cups in and out. On the top of the cushion, again, very comfortable. It doesn't really pull my hair or anything. They're light, they're very, very lightweight, like 220 something grams. Uh, and they're really a well-built pair of headphones. So then as far as controls go, I didn't talk about the right side being the touch controls right there. So the entire right side is a touch pad. Uh, and it's really nice, it, not only tapping, but it also allows swiping. So you can turn the volume up and down by swiping. You can skip songs by swiping forward or back. Uh, there's some more advanced ones, like if you swipe forward and hold, it's supposed to fast forward. It doesn't work with Spotify, but maybe if you're using some other native uh, music player that might work on there. Um, if, you're, if you swipe backward and hold, of course it rewinds. If you swipe up and hold or swipe down and hold, those can also do things. And if you're in a phone call, you have some really advanced options and I can put the link down below to the user manual. I also found that it's a pretty wide, pretty generous range right there. If you double tap, it's going to turn on active, uh, like the transparency mode so you hear your surroundings. Unfortunately, you cannot have this on while you're listening to music. So double tapping, turns on transparency mode, pauses your music so you can hear your surroundings, um, but you're never gonna have like a clear pass-through mode where you can hear your surroundings at the same time as your music. Also, when you fold the headphones in, at the very top you have a little tiny switch that's hidden by the hinge right there, and that is the switch to turn Bluetooth on or off. All right, so this is what the microphone sounds like outside. There's a motorcycle right there. A little bit of volume out here, a little bit of wind, but we'll see how good this sounds. Comment down below what you guys think. So in the Sennheiser app, this is the same app you're using for pretty much all of your Sennheiser devices. On the bottom, you have two options right there. You can go and turn noise cancellation. Well, you can't actually turn it on or off because we have it set to level the max level right there. So because that's a mechanical switch, you can't really change that in the app. So if you're wondering right now, then why would they have it in the app? It's because if you go down to level one out of you know, zero, one, two. If you go down to level one right there, it allows you to go to either adaptive noise cancellation or anti-wind noise cancellation. Um, so both of them are adaptive and it's really nice that you have that option there. We do also have acoustical settings. It should be an EQ. It's not really an EQ. So you have a couple options here. The first one is neutral, which sounds pretty good. If we go over to club, I found that the bass gets a little high. Um, movie, again, you have a lot of bass on there. Then speech is not for music at all. This is really for hearing voices. If you are listening to a podcast and you just really wanna hear vocals very, very well, then it's gonna mute pretty much everything except the natural vocal range. And then lastly, we have director right here, which is not actually a normal EQ. Uh, I wish it was a normal EQ, but it does give you some pretty interesting controls here. So you can change like the bass, so you can have thump, rumble, or a uh, voice, which is gonna be just what part of the frequency is being boosted. Uh, then we have a spatial control if you want it to sound farther away, closer to you, or medium. You can adjust the reverb on there and you can adjust, so DLC on the bottom. So that's not exactly what I was wanting, but it, I found that you, know, you can make it sound pretty good with that nonetheless. Uh, one little thing though is I wish there was an EQ because I find that these are definitely a little bit bass heavy as far as headphones go, which for a lot of music can be great, but sometimes I just wish I could hear the high end a little bit better. So I'll talk about sound quality in a second, um, but now let's go into a microphone test. Now, as far as the active noise cancellation goes on these, I found that it's a very natural sound. There's really almost no white noise at all, and it blocks out just 100% of the rumble around you. So if you have like a washing machine, if you've got traffic outside, if you're on a train, if you're on an airplane, like it just suddenly gets completely dead and quiet when you use these. Very powerful, uh, very comparable to a lot of the other ones like the Bose out there. Bose might be slightly better um, with, the act with the active noise cancellation, but otherwise these sound really, really good. As far as audio quality goes on these, um, the EQ options do allow you to change like the closeness, the bass focus, uh, the reverb and stuff like that, like I said, but otherwise they're very warm and there's definitely plenty of bass. It's pleasant to listen to uh, and is really generally a very good sound quality for wireless headphones. I found that there's definitely plenty of rumbly or even thumpy bass, depending on how you choose it in the EQ. Um, but when you turn the bass up or when you have a song with a lot of bass, some of the higher instruments might be slightly drowned out and you might lose a little bit of detail, but otherwise the bass, is, the bass sounds very good and the mids uh, are definitely very clear and very warm. So I, I really like these headphones. I just, like I said, I wish I could maybe turn the bass down very slightly and turn up uh, the higher frequencies, like very, very slightly. These do have SBC, AAC, they have Aptex, and they have Aptex low latency. So latency on these is not going to be an issue. So if we go up to settings, then you can turn on smart pause right there. Uh, I leave that on, I think it's a nice feature to have. Then call enhancement is supposed to make it feel like somebody's in the room with you, like right there. So it works really well, I think. I think that this call quality is definitely no problem when I'm talking to people, I think it sounds great. To be clear, this is not affecting your microphone, it's going to affect 
uh, the sound of the other person on the line in the headphones. The voice assistant, if you turn this on, this turns on Alexa. Otherwise, voice assistant still works with a button, but it's just your native one on your phone. So it'll be Google or Siri or whatever you're using out there. And that's pretty much all you're gonna be doing in the app right here. So as far as connection goes with these, you do have several ways to connect to devices. First of all, you do have uh, the aux cable if you wanna use that. You could instead use the micro USB cable, or you could use Bluetooth 5.0 and pair with up to two different devices at the same time. Doesn't mean both will be playing music at the same time, but if you hit play on one, it'll pause the other automatically. And if you hit play on that one, it'll pause the first one. So if you have like a, a laptop and a phone, it's nice that you can have them both paired and not have to reconnect and disconnect either one of them. I think that there are a few complaints I have, including the first one is that the EQ is not really what I was looking for in the app. I wish I could adjust it a little bit more because I know these are a very capable pair of headphones, but for my particular taste and my particular style of music, there's a few little tweaks I would like to make that I feel like I'm struggling to make within the app. Secondly, I don't know why they used micro USB. I wish it was USB-C. A lot of people won't have a problem with that, but for me having a lot of devices and a lot of cables around, I just find that it's one extra cable I need to keep out when I really wish they could all use just USB type C. Then also, uh, I think that the always, uh, like not having transparency mode being able to be always on, I think is a slight drawback. Sometimes I like to, you know, go for walks on like the train tracks or something. And if I'm listening to music, then you probably should not be like I can't use these because I can't have transparency mode on, which means I would get like hit by a train or something. So, I mean, don't don't walk on train tracks with these or really ever. But anyway, the final complaint I have is that I find that I, a lot of times I turn these headphones off accidentally. If somebody like walks in, I take them off my head and I just accidentally turn them just slightly to about a 45 degree angle. And that is when they turn off. So I'll end up turning them on and off accidentally a lot. As far as battery goes with these headphones, it's supposed to last 30 hours, but I think that is if you're wired and active noise cancellation is on. I normally have active noise cancellation and Bluetooth on. So what I've been getting for my testing is somewhere in the low 20s for how long this lasts. So 21, 22 hours, something like that, which is pretty long. It's definitely not the longest I've ever seen, but considering they have ANC, that is definitely a pretty good battery life. Okay guys, so in conclusion, I think these are a great pair of headphones, very comfortable, very light, uh, very good sound quality, and I really do like the touch pads on the side. Sometimes I'm a big fan of having physical buttons because they're easier, but because these are kind of a larger surface area there and they're really, they, they're pretty generous with what they accept, I think that I have no problems with answering, rejecting calls, changing the volume, and just otherwise using the touch pads. There are quite a few controls. Admittedly, I don't use all of them, but the ones that I do need are all right there. So guys, that's what I have to say about these headphones. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe. Comment if you have any questions or what your thoughts are on these headphones. I wanna hear it from you guys. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.